Well ladies and gents, December is in the books, and that means it's time for another video game pickups video from the Chaz Man himself. Picking up a new game and adding it to my collection is always a great feeling for me, so I'm sure it comes as no surprise that these monthly pickup videos are something I almost always really look forward to. Anyways, let's go ahead and get it started, so here are my favorite video game pickups for the month of December. To kick things off, I picked up a copy of Scooby-Doo Unmasked for the Nintendo GameCube. It's a platformer that was developed by Altron Behavior Interactive and published by THQ. I did pick it up at a local thrift store for $2 and it's retailing for about $16. Now as for a time frame, as for when I'm able to cover the game, I'm thinking this might be one I save for next Halloween. So somebody out there, hold my feet to the fire, because I'm most likely going to forget next Halloween. Next up, I picked up a copy of Escape Dead Island for the Xbox 360. It's a survival game that was developed by Fat Shark and published by Deep Silver. I picked it up at a local thrift store for $5, and it's retailing for about $5. I know that sounds like a lot, but I was feeling generous and, I don't know, I'm missing it, so I was willing to pay it. As for a video, I think down the line you can't expect a review or video on it of some kind, but I do think I want to go back and replay the original Dead Island, so that'll probably come first. I picked up a copy of NCAA Basketball 2009. It is a sports game that was developed and published by EA. I picked it up at a local thrift store for $5 and it's retailing for a pretty good $20. I pretty much have absolutely no plans on covering this game anytime soon, but if that's something you guys think you might want, let me know. I also picked up the very first Saints Row for the Xbox 360. It is an action game that was developed by Volition and published by THQ. I snagged it up at a local thrift store for $2 and it's retailing for around $9. Now I have yet to play the first two Saints Row games, so most definitely you can expect a video or review on each of the Saints Row games down the line. And yes, that probably means Saints Row 4. I can't wait to play that one again. I was able to pick up a copy of 99 Nights for the Xbox 360. It was developed by Q Entertainment and published by Microsoft. It is also a hack and slash that's very much styled after something like Dynasty Warriors. I picked it up at a local thrift store for $2 and it's retailing for around $8. Now me simply knowing it's something like Dynasty Warriors means I'm not terribly interested in it, but if that's something you guys think you might want a video done on the future, comment down below. Next I grabbed up a copy of Midway Arcade Treasures 2 for the PlayStation 2. It's a video game compilation game that was developed by Backbone Entertainment and published by Midway. I got it at a local pawn shop for a dollar and it's retailing for around $15. I don't have any plans to cover this game, but it is kind of neat that it has Mortal Kombat's 2 and 3, and having different ways of playing those games seems kind of nice. I picked up a copy of X-Men Next Dimension for the PlayStation 2. It is a fighting game that was developed by Paradox and published by Activision. I picked it up from a local pawn shop for a dollar and it's retailing for around 
Now, I had never heard of this game when I picked it up, so I was pretty shocked to find there was a fighting game that was just X-Men oriented. So needless to say, I'm a bit intrigued by the game, so I think definitely down the line you can expect a video done on it, whenever that may be. I added a copy of Tenchu 3 Wrath of Heaven for the PlayStation 2. It is an action stealth game that was developed by From Software and published by Activision. I got it from a local pawn shop for a dollar and it's retailing for around $14. Now I have never played a Tenchu game, but if you think this is something you guys might want me to cover or try out at some point, feel free to comment down below. In a very excited manner, I picked up Gauntlet Dark Legacy for the PlayStation 2. It is a dungeon crawler that was developed and published by Midway. I picked it up from a local pawn shop for a dollar and it's retailing for around $24. Now this is a game I've been looking to add to my collection for a very long time. I used to play it a ton back in the days with family and friends, so I'd almost definitely say at some point in the future you can expect a video done on this one. Well that wraps up my pickups for the month of December. In terms of quantity, December wasn't an amazing month for me, but really that's not what it's all about. I mean, for me, just getting Gauntlet the Dark Legacy was enough to make up for the month and really make me happy. Here are a couple of my favorite pickups that I made, and I'd like to know what you guys thought. Do you love my pickups, or did you think they were just okay? And what about you guys? Have you made any great pickups this month? I'd love to hear back. Well, this was an awesome first video for the year 2021, and also keep an eye out because I do have a video coming out right after this one about my plans for 2021 and what are my goals for the year. Additionally, I want to recap 2020 and talk about what that year meant for me. Anyways guys, as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, I love you, please be safe, and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next Enter Chasman. Adios. Hey now, I see you made it through the video and liked or even possibly loved it. Well, if you want to see any more additional content or you'd like to get into contact with me, consider checking out some of my social medias right here. And if you'd like to go above and beyond and want to support my channel monetarily, here is also a couple places where you can do so. And if nothing else, simply liking, sharing, and subscribing would make me the happiest Chaz man on the planet.